and welcome to another video. My name is Hannah and this is the place where I watch basically whatever I want. And welcome back. I have had a little bit of time in between I filmed the last thing which was J-Hope's arson which I don't know if that's going up tonight. I'll see how I feel about it. Um, but I was originally going to um, do my Astro album listen tonight because I wanted to get those, those two um, finished that I had left. Um, until I get to the last batch. I wanted to finish that before I started school, but unfortunately it's getting a little too late and I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it and also upload videos tonight. So I'm going to do that tomorrow and that's going to be my main focus and if I have anything else I want to do, then I'm going to do that. Um, but because I realized that I don't have enough time, we're going to just do another music video now, which is going to be Girls Generation Forever 1. Um, I'm doing this because I have put that in my album batch and I'm going to listen to the whole album, um, which is going to be in the order that it's currently voted as. I don't think I'm going to get any more votes than there currently are. So just look at that previous community post. I think it is my newest up to date. Um, so I don't think I'm going to make another one until then, so we'll have to see. But basically... I'm going to listen to the album, so I want to get to this music video first, of course, um, and I didn't want to just include it into the album listen, um, so I just thought I'm going to do it now. Um, so yeah, I haven't heard much of their music yet. I watched um, some TTS, and I also watched Bring the Boys? The Boys. It was just called The Boys, I think. I'm so sorry, I'm getting that wrong. Um, so I don't know much about their discography yet and their music videos, but I swear if I really like this, then I'm going to continue on and do some more uh, music video watches um, to their the rest of their discography if I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, but we're going to watch this music video. I think there are probably subtitles, otherwise that SM would be majorly missing out on a big opportunity um but they had a lot they have a lot of views so far um so i am assuming that that's going to be the case but this is a more than a week old it's probably like almost two weeks old at this point um so i apologize to any new or any fans of theirs because i know it's been a while yes there are english subs so we're gonna watch it twice like usual and before we get started also i apologize for the sliding it is getting pretty late it's like eight p.m. almost um so it's pretty late right now um so it's not gonna look the great the greatest with the lighting but i hope you are understanding with that um but yeah we're gonna get into this and see what it's like um just keep in mind that i'm not great with names uh i have some girls that i already can recognize pretty well including including hyoyeon uh, which i've always i've liked her music for a long time the tiffany kind of and a few of them other other of the girls as well um and from what i might from what i understand i don't think anyone is absent from this so i think they're all here most likely we'll have to see um but yeah we'll just dive into this uh sorry for the long intro and yeah let's just go and check this out girls generation forever one let's go all right so i have this video pulled up um just letting you guys know as well because it's getting a little bit late I might not be as interesting in my commentary and what I talk about because I, when I get tired, I usually am just like, oh, pretty, oh, nice sound, or whatever. So we'll have to see how well I do, but I've been feeling good today, so we'll only, we'll only tell as soon as I start. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're only going to do um, subs on the second watch, so right now it's just going to be pure music. Uh, and also, if I look a little awkward in my hand, I got a weird rash, and I have a, a, um, you know, one of those, like, when you have a friction, what is it called? I don't remember. But I have a big, like, plaster on my hand, so I can't really bend it. So I'm sorry if I look a little awkward with my hands, because it, it's not the greatest, but I don't want to keep touching my hand and keep making it worse. Um, but yeah, let's dive into this and see what it's like. This is Girls' Generation for everyone music video. Um, so yeah, let's we'll sit back, sit tight, and again, sorry for the lighting because it makes me kind of look like a ghost because I don't have good enough lighting. I use a book light, so I hope you understand. Um, but yeah, let's dive into this. This is first generation for everyone. Let's go.
Definitely gonna be a very poppy song for sure. Sorry, my my uh, volume is a little low. And also, I think that first first girl was Yuna. I think I know her like from I don't even remember when. Long ago, she had an interview with another idol I was really into. I don't remember exactly, but I think her name's Yuna. Anyway, I'm not gonna s sit and guess names because I frankly am not too. I'm not too knowledgeable in that yet, so I hope you understand. Anyway. <laughs> She's so pretty. Taeyeon, I want to get into Taeyeon as well because she has so much music, and I think it would be great to dive into that. Um, so, we'll have to see. She has a lot of solos. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, she's pretty. Oh, I hear it building up. It's definitely going to be like the more... It's not going to be really old school. It's going to be more the classic like 2000s, like 10s and later pop music. Which I like that sort of style. So... I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Also, I should have taken off my scrunchie. It just looks bad on camera. <laughs> I like the makeup a lot, too. It's very really pretty. Oh, the build-up is really nice so far, though. She's like... she, Her and Tay... How do you say? Her and Taeyeon are probably the ones I know the most about, I think. Because I used to have a thing... With Huyun, especially like her new music, like I really like Deep. I haven't watched the music for, for Deep yet. I should get into that on my channel as well. Um, but I love the song Deep. I also love um, her song uh, Mystery and what is that called again? Uh, Dessert. She has a, she has a lot of music that I really love, so I love her a lot, and she looks really good here. I like her blonde a lot. kind of dirty blonde. It looks cool. Yeah, it's kind of like, like Hyoyeon was doing there. It's kind of like DJ music almost a little bit. Because there's a lot of like that more um, EDM kind of EDM pop music sound, you know? She's really pretty too. <gasps> it also kind of sounds like a, a movie soundtrack, honestly. You know? Like that kind of thing, like that sort of feel good song, definitely. Ooh, I like that blue eyeliner girl. Looks great. They're all so gorgeous, by the way. I'll just say that, so I don't have to talk about it. Yeah, she's singing too. I love her. And also, like, I just think about it sometimes, how long they have been around now. Like, I can't remember exactly when their first song was released, but it was like 2008 or something, right? They're at least 14, I think. They might even be older than that, which is insane. And now, like, they've had a pretty long hiatus, but they came back, which is really cool. And it's really, it's really impressive. Their makeup is just so immaculate. That is Tiffany, right? 
I'm sorry, I might be totally off the loop there. I love the fashion show going on now. Goodness. Goodness me. Oh, that fluttering sound. Beautiful. Oh, that's pretty with half of them with one color and the other half with one. Goodness. Oh, and the like vocals in the back too, goodness. Goodness. This just makes me smile. This just makes me smile a lot. Oh dang, it's already over. That felt like it was over so quickly. <laughs> Ooh, and the SM logo in pink. That's honestly, that's honestly very cute. Um, so yeah, that was my first watch of Girls' Generation Forever 1. I just wanted to pull up their K profiles real quick, if you don't mind me. Uh, I'm not going to screen record this, because you can just look it up yourself if you really feel like it. Um, let me see how, like, some more info, because I'm not exactly sure of all this, so I need to, I need to just... Just need to do some quick research. Just give me a minute. Generation. Right. <clears throat> Sorry, my, my throat is weird. Dang, why are they not showing up? Did I mistype that or something? I'll just go to the list they have. The, like, the list with, um, in the in alphabetical order. Just give me a minute. There we go. Ghost generation. Right. For some reason it didn't show up. Um debut twenty two thousand seven. Yeah. I thought I thought it was two thousand seven, but I didn't want to go all with that. But that's crazy. That is insane. Um let's see here. Um pay on. Okay, so one of the members left and then uh some of them have left, but they remain in the group. Okay, like, le like left SM, right? Let's see who who le who left the group. I think. Let me see. Jessica. Okay, but they're eight. Got it. So they they were all in here. At least the ones who are still left in the group. Got it. Um. So. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I can't believe that. That is something. That the fact that they've been around for so long, um, but they're still here. Really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you understand. I feel like I feel like my brain is going a little bit slower. So hopefully that you, hopefully you don't experience that. Um, but yeah, that was still really really fun, um, and I enjoyed that a lot. That definitely reminds me of some of their previous songs that I've listened to. I haven't listened to much at all, um, so I hope you understand that. But it's still, like, giving me, like, vibes from what I've heard. And it's it's really enjoyable. It's really fun. Um, I enjoy this sort of music a lot. Um, but, yeah. I just said we're going to watch it again with the subtitles on. And I can understand a little, li this a little more clearly. Um, so, yeah. We're going to go in for a second watch. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and listen to this once again. And take in all of the lyrics. And then we're good to go, and I can finally listen to the album. Uh, we'll see when that happens, because I have one more from the previous batch, and I believe Girls' Generation was third in the batch, so it might be like a week from now. Um, we'll have to see. Actually, I'm going to look real quick in my notes. Just give me one second. Um, so I have Astro, of course. I'm going to film that tomorrow. Astro's um, all yours, if you want to know. Um... Yes, Girls' Generation is number three, um, so we're going to have to maybe wait like a week for that, um, and that's just for me filming it. So we're going to have to see when it happens, um, but hopefully soon enough. But at least now I'm prepared um, to 
go into that. Um, but yeah, let's dive into this. I got my subs on. Hopefully I got the right size. Nope. <laughs> Good thing I checked it then. Um, and also make sure, yes, we have English subs and we have Forte. All right, we shall dive into this and then I'll probably go take a nap. Well, not a nap at 9 p.m. That's too late. Maybe like go to sleep actually. <laughs> we'll have to see how I feel. Um, but yeah, let's go. All right. Ding. Now, I imagine this is going to be a more of a love song because I tend to see that being their thing. But because it's called For Everyone as well, I'm probably sure that they're going to reference some stuff about their actual group. Um, because I'm sure they have a lot of love in there and, you know, it's more like if you're together for like, let's see how long it's now. 15 years almost. I think it's 15 years. Or was it? Then it's, it said August, right? Or was it later than that in the year? But anyway, they've been a, l a long time together. So, like, I can understand that, like, if you're just on a co-worker basis, like, 15 years is a long time to do that. So I'm sure they have a lot of love for each other. So I'm assuming it's going to be a bit about, you know, the group as well. Yeah, they all have such nice voices. I should watch a guide. I actually have one planned out, but that's of course in my own free time because I pre I I prefer not to watch any um, like non-official content, so like guides or um, crack videos or something like that. I don't prefer to watch that on my channel um, because I think like my my opinion it doesn't really fit in there. Um, but, you know, unless someone really requests it, I could, but it's not my preferred way to go about it. Um, but I do want to know more about them because they've had such a long history, like, a lot. I, I thought it said, wait, what, what did I think it said now? I don't even remember what I thought it said. Now I, now I missed what I was, what I was thinking it was. Um, but I, like, I thought it was something else that was like, we are, bam, bam, we are one. Um, but Makes sense. I don't know what I, I don't know what I thought it was. I was gonna make a point, but I don't know what it was now. Sorry. Also, the like the glitter is on her face. I just love the modern K-pop like look and makeup because it looks so good. That was right though. That's definitely. That's definitely, that's definitely referring to the group, though. Because earlier it felt like it was supposed to be about love for someone else, but this was definitely, like, girls, we have forever, you know? <laughs> the dresses have been really nice, too, like, goodness, I love them. listening to the song, I apologize, but I'm like taking everything in, of course. Ooh, I just saw that on, is that, that is, I think that's Tiffany, I'm pretty sure that's Tiffany, because I don't know anyone else who would be Tiffany, but I love the waist chain here. Anyway, and the monochrome outfits almost, like some of them are wearing, I think that, and again, I think that's Yuna, she's wearing like, oh, she's wearing the Swedish flag colors, Swedish pride there. 
Um, but I love the monochrome like pop of the color, like almost the rainbow look all over the hat or all over there. Looks nice. Also, that lipstick. I like that lipstick a lot. <laughs> Lot, like I said, a lot of nice fashion here. I feel like I'm watching a fashion show in a music video. That's pretty too. I wonder if that was that was probably specifically made for this music video. But look, that's a really nice award. Honestly, it could um like it could be one a real award. That's how real it looks. It looks beautiful. A little shears in the back. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. The sets have been, s by the way, the sets, the sets have been so amazing as well. Like they're extremely extremely impressive like this one right here is beautiful I know a lot of this is probably CGI and green screen but still p people put work into doing that as well so it's still really really cool that it looks like this it's beautiful she's just so beautiful A really ending that's a really pretty ending pose too um but yeah that sm like little outro twang you just have to listen to it every time um but yeah that was girls generation for everyone music video that was really really enjoyable like i said i mean i really like listening to that um it had the kind of like pop music that i know if i was a kid if i was like in my early 10 years, like, in my early 10s, can you say that? But, like, when I was, like, around 10 years old, like, older and younger than that a little bit, I would have loved this song. Uh, and I think, I, like, I was kind of introduced to K-pop, like, at that age, because some songs had become a little popular, and to give you a clue, like, I was 10 years old in 2014. Um, so, like, I could have heard, like, G, I believe, was out by then. Um, so, like, I probably have heard Girls' Generation songs back, like, almost a decade ago, um, for me. Because, like, they, like, I grew up on the internet, so it's most likely probable that I, I heard those songs back then, and this would have been, like, exactly what little kid me would have liked. Um, but, yeah, let me check real quick their kid profile once again, because I want to see... 1989. How old is the Nakne? I wonder. You know, Sohyun. That's right. 91. Wow, there's a really like small gap in between them. Like usually, there's like a few years in between the girls, at least like five in between the youngest and oldest. Um, but they're all like 90, like 80, 89 to 91. That's kind of cool, actually. Like, usually there's, especially nowadays, of course, there's very big age gaps in, um, in groups. It's very cool. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? I really enjoyed this. The makeup was beautiful. The costumes were great. Um, even though I, like, I'm not really focusing on it too much, I did like the dance as well. And I saw, of course, all of the concept uh, photos and all that and I was extremely impressed and I was really excited to get to this and I know it's been weeks um, more than a week um, but you know what can you do sometimes you just have other things that you need to get to so I hope you understand um, but yeah that was really enjoyable I managed to get to editing so I can get some videos up tonight 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have anything to request, then please do so in the comments. If that's Girls' Generation or any other artist, then please feel free to do so. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a great day. And I will see you soon.